Hello and welcome to Flory Models. This is a kit I've been looking forward to reviewing for some time now. What we've got here is not quite new release. We've had it a little while, but HK Models 132nd A20 Havoc, or in the European theatres, you can see. And it has, I have to say, one of the best box arts I've seen. I've seen a photo that looks incredibly similar, and I think that's where the artistry took his inspiration from, because it's very, very similar to this particular one, and it's a beautiful picture, as you can see. One of those inspirational box arts that just makes you want to build this kit. Now, the thing is, a little bit of background. Um, HK Models have been around a while, and they've come out with some real, real good kits, and at every step, it just seems to be that somebody's gazumped them. So, for instance, when they were doing the Minecraft stuff, obviously the Wingnut Wings, which now Border Models kit came along, which has got canning, and it's a little bit more detailed than all obviously theirs was so that was a little bit of a blow the mosquito remember that one that came along everyone was really excited until tammy had decided they were going to release theirs again but what they've done recently is is obviously they downscaled some of their kits as well from 132nd still available and then they've gone down to them in 48th and to be honest with you i think this in 148th scale will be absolutely stunning but if you do want a big one this is definitely the kit for you so and on the old box it's a bit tricky to get all it in you can see we've got some of the markings up here uh, so we got one from Weathersfield. Isn't that where Coronation Street is? Anyway, June 20th, uh, 1944. And we've got, uh, what else have we got down in here? One that's from France. I probably won't try and pronounce these, uh, which is October 1944. And uh, we've got another one from Paris uh, as well, which is a really nice one from November 1944 as well, as you can see down in there. Uh, a couple of bits on the box, as you can see, a bit of the CAD work, which we've all seen already. It looks very, very nice. But really, we want to see what's in here. All right. So a huge kit, as you can see. Lots of plastic down in here. It's a medium bomber, but actually in 30 seconds, it's still really nice. The first thing that jumps out, you can see all this gorgeous rippled skin or canning or stress skin, whichever you want to call it, on the actual fuselage bits there. So that all looks very nice indeed. We want some stuff out of the way. We've got various other little bits here, which I'm assuming there'll be other versions coming along. We've got the clear parts looking very nice. And obviously it's a top opening hatch on these as well. So you will be able to see in. And again, we are greeted by lots and lots of parts, lots of parts in here. I'm going to do a detailed review of all of this, as you can see. So we've got lots of everything. We've got some great engine detail. And to be honest, this is the kit that is going to keep giving and giving and giving. Because it's the special version, I do believe you get this, which is obviously a very nice print of the box art itself. Uh, which I will keep nice and flat under there because this isn't my kit. Also in the box, you just see on the side here, we've got some shaped nose weight. And that's a lot of weight as well. So a hell of a lot of weight on pre-done so you don't have to worry about that. Right, let's move some of this out of the way so we can get in here. Let's move this down just a little bit. And then hopefully we can have a look. So as you can see, we've got a nice piece of photo in there. We've got a lovely decal sheet to start with. And again, the instructions are massively big as well. Let's just try and fit the instructions in somehow. All right, so big old booklet with this. Really nice instructions all the way through, nice and clear. So you can see the photo etch bits you're going to be using and all the different parts because they're highlighted all the way through. Really nice, simple, straightforward instructions to follow. So you can see working on obviously the cockpit, all the details going down in there. We've got the nose wheel being fitted, so obviously that's going to go underneath the cockpit. We've got the turret as well, all going together in there as well. So it looks like the barrels go in afterwards, which again, another really nice touch. Bomb bay, bomb load, usual bits and pieces down in there for the mid fuselage section. And it looks like it's quite modular, which was what we sort of expected. So hopefully they're going to do a glass nose version of this as well for the bomber one. So again, really nice details all the way through. Very nice indeed. Working on the sides, lots of details going in, being bits added onto the sidewards, all the rest of it. We've got the formers being fitted down into the main fuselage areas as well, as you can see. And then obviously we've got the various sections. So rear section you've put in probably separately. Mid section then is going to be fitted up there. So you've got your bomb bay and up the front here as well, we've got the cockpit being fitted down in there. Fuselage halves together and then obviously on the control surfaces. So we've got tailplanes, tails, things like that being fitted. Those can all be fitted on. Again, nice touch with this one. It does have a top opening hatch. So you will be able to see nice details down in there and for the cockpit. 
and the life raft and equipment in the rear as well if you want to display it open and again no section so again we know it's quite modular with the nose this is the strafer type it's got the nose in the guns but hopefully say we'll see the bomber version come along as well so we've got the four guns up front being fitted down there into the nose so that's all those in for the strafer and then all of that can be fitted down onto the front of it just like this all right and then again you've got various bits of photo etch for the armor plating onto the side which is a nice touch wheel wells things like that being fitted in again we've got identification lights going down the actual rear fuselage and then the various parts on if you do bomb bays open or closed the engines themselves really really nice detail for the engines just add your own little bit of wiring and you'll be good to go so again you'll be making up both of those looks like we've got things like uh, cow flaps uh, molded in the sort of mid position i would call it it looks like on that one mid to open i would say all right so that's all of that the gear is a little bit complex so you're going to take your time probably getting that all right getting that all squared away and square and then obviously into the engine the cells just down below then you're working into the wings again looks like it's got some nice strengthening down in there doors open or closed you do have the options all the way through fitting those gear in to the actual wing sections just like that all right again nice and poseable so we've got nice big ailerons onto the outside we've got those little flaps in there as well so those being fitted and then the engine can be fitted to the nacelles you've got the props going on the front rinse and repeat again for the other side so that's just going to be a mirror one side to the other and then wings being fitted on so as you can see wings going on there like that then you end up with something like this all completed then we've got the obligatory which is weird to have them at the back but you've got your your parts thing for this and then you've got those markings and again some really really nice markings down in here as well really nice with the d-day uh, strike markings Again, one of these things, this aircraft is great because if you look at references, you can really go to town with weather and you can do it nice and clean if you want to do, or a little bit by the box art, you can chip the hell out of it, which seems to be pretty much standard for these ones as well. Again, so really nice. Color call that's down in there. You've got AK colors, guns, and Tamiya as well, right the way through. And again, you've got your guide on the back there. So a huge big instruction book for it, just like that. Decals. Move the camera back down a bit. There we go. So decals, and we've got a little bit of photo etch. All right. So decals themselves. Very nice. They're done by Cartograph, as you might expect, and they are absolutely flawless. Good, solid, coloured registry all the way through. Very, very nice. Got those walkways. On the camera look a little bit pink but hopefully it will show in editing they're more red than pink and again down in there as well is there a panel again the dials and details look actually quite nice i think you probably get away with that as well so it's very nice as well good old cartograph decals we get a nice chunk of photo etch so again it's very very thin very malleable this stuff so again you've got these big plates which are going to be the armor extra armor on the side things like that we've got harnesses we've got some intake grills things like that and obviously got some bomb fuses uh, down in there the little fans on the front again really nice very very thin very nice indeed so i just move this out of the way where to start i'll tell you what whilst we're here we'll just start with the clear parts i know we normally traditionally use these things to last but things are on the top so clear parts are got a protective film sorry john i'm going to remove it you won't mind again very very nice indeed can't see any problems with those they look crystal clear really nice sharp framing as well that's actually very nice and again the side windows for the two ones here you can have open or closed because they are separate as well which is very nice but generally they are very very clear crystal sharp I like those a lot so let's just get that in there to protect that again very nice right let's pop this back in the bag as I say, got to be careful, not like it. This is John, so expect a, a video build from him. No time soon. We'll do it afterwards. Right, okay, where are we going to start? Let's go back to the fuselage. And it's one of the biggest parts here. It's all separate bagged by the looks of it, which is quite nice. And again, so fuselage section itself, you can see how big this is. This thing's an absolute monster. But hopefully you can see it's got a little bit of stress onto this, a little bit of a sort of canning effect. It's not massively overdone. It's not on every single one, but it's enough. So again, I'm trying to show, get some light onto this. There you go, you can see that. 
it catching in the light really very nice first time we've seen hk do this and again another thing that's really nice with this is the riveting detail is very very fine there we go you can see that canning underneath there this lock system so just make sure you put the wings on right and it works an absolute dream but generally you can see the level of detail is absolutely beautiful on this kit really very nice indeed as i say sometimes canning i think can be overdone this is definitely i think perfect absolutely perfect very nice indeed on the inside as you might imagine lots of detail in that tail area and again which is quite nice the ejector pins are here but they're very faint they're quite small there's loads of them but you probably wouldn't even notice them in there and definitely you're not going to see them in there so i won't worry about it too much obviously midsection it doesn't matter because it's a full enclosed uh, bombay but obviously at the front we've got a little bit of detail down in here so it's very very nice indeed so yeah happy with that that's very very nice okay so right i'm just going to grab bags because they're everywhere so again this is that internal detail which is such a shame when you're doing bigger bombers we've got two in this one but um you know you can probably see we've got some great internal structures for this we've got all the lines all the fuel lines we've got all the piping we've got obviously all the control cables running down the sides lots and lots of detail down in here and again, it's such a shame we're going to lose probably 99% of it you'll never see. But you know it's there. All right. But generally, very nice. There's a few ejector bins on this. But to be honest, they're very, very shallow. And again, some very nice areas. We've got the ammunition cans down in here. We've got raised rivet heads over on here on the plate. And again, things like these bulk heads. Very nicely done. Last one down in here. Some really very nice details in those. So whilst we got that out, we'd look at the rear control surfaces. So again, nice and ribbed. Nice canning on here, as you can see. Stress skin effect looking very nicely done. And again, if we have a close up in here, you can see just a little bit on the underside there. Plenty on there. And again, we've got the fabric with the ribs showing through really nicely and again nice bit of canning on there very very nice indeed and again raised rivet detail all the way in here so very nice very very nice indeed okay engines will come back to it's how i wings so wing section looking very very nice again really smartly done cleverly done all of that riveting stuff in second 30 seconds it just looks absolutely spot on god i say i love this in 48 it's a lovely aircraft even in 30 seconds not massive but it's just a little bit too big for me but I'd love to do this in 48 especially with some of this detail because the ginger detail to say on these it's absolutely beautifully done really very very nice you know those access panels all underneath there looking great you've got the stress skin some of them are more than others as it would be a lot of time and attention to detail on this kit Which again it's a 30 second kit so you sort of expect it but yeah it's one of those it comes normally at a price and to be honest it looks very nice good structural internals as well so again nice framework down in here very good secure points locking this all together and again it's important that make sure that this closes properly on here when you fit any hk models to the wing so yeah all these people bleating on about how it doesn't fit and it's poorly done it's because you haven't got these parts done right if you do that it will save you a hell of a lot of time okay so basically another match pair so we won't go through that one that one's just the same and then we've got two which are engines so again we've got two identical so we'll offload one we don't need to look at both and again this is like a mini model all on its own so some beautiful details down in here look at these rocker covers loads of them obviously all to be fitted again all the piping work the exhausts uh you know just generally really very very nice so again we'll do it properly we'll start over in here so we've got your props we've got the engine centers itself like a proper core with a coil all round in there off to the magnetos then obviously you've got your exhausts all over here which are hollowed as well so they are slightly hollowed at the end which is very nice then we've got the actual pots which are all 
really nicely done really good job on that then obviously we've got the the various injectors and the various parts down in there right the way through back of the engine actual mount down in here all of these little rocker covers which i absolutely love all right and then again more exhaust and then down in here we've actually got your little spinner to the gearbox and all the rest of it and then finally we've got the exhausts coming down and back out of the cowls and then obviously we've got the the various parts so again very nice indeed good sharp clean crisp detail all the way through two sprues in this bag so we've got three sprues in this bag all right so you can see just down in here we've got one with the seat obviously a lot of the cockpit environmental stuff looks like we've got some of the guns 50 cows things like that down in here really very very nice indeed so again we a spin around we've got that nose wheel there looks pretty darn good the yoke various items i think for inside the, the actual wheel wells 50 cal down in here with a barrel to be honest the barrel's a bit of a soft point i would probably just go straight down the aftermarket go pay master barrels a visit because i must admit i love their stuff and again seats various bits very nice then we've got so obviously for the turret all the various parts and you say the, the actual main body of the guns is fine but the barrels are just a bit yeah definitely going to replace those if you're going to do it so again very very nice indeed with all of that and then we've got some of the bulkheads who say this is to be down for the rear section i've got the rear section bits down in here and all the rest of it we've got the wheels i assume it's the nose wheel so again looking very nice indeed We've got weight on wheels, which is another nice touch, fully detailed. And then all the, the various bits. We've got the bulkheads. There's your instrument panel. And actually, that's not too bad. It's very, very sharp, very nice, very crisp. So you might get away with that. If not, I'm sure the aftermarket people will be on this. And as you can see, nose wheel details inside the actual bays. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah. Lovely kit, right? Okay, so in here we've got the main wheel, we've got the engine for the cowlings. So, again, let's have a look at the engine cowlings. Nice one piece molded, no jokes. <laughs> so, very, very nicely done on this. Again, we've got the exhaust, and again, it looks like you do the sort of cow flaps open or closed because obviously this is in the closed position. Oh, if this one over here will be for the open position, really nice, good, solid. There's no seam. I can see on it, yeah, that's actually really very, very nicely done on these. So, yeah, very cool indeed. And then we've got over here, we've got the tyres. Again, weight on wheels. Big old wheels for it, don't look too bad at all. There's no actual writing on these ones, but the front gear does. And then obviously all the supports and the various bits for the main gear. All looking very nice and sharp. Very nice indeed. Okay, last big bag. So what we get here is more internals, engine and cell areas, things like that. And obviously this one will be specific to this one is obviously because this is the front end with the straper front on it. And again, you can open up all of these so you can see a little bit of all the work that you're putting into it, which is very nice indeed. So as you can see, we've got the various parts for the front end that nice nose down in there which is completely hollowed ammunition containers various things all the guns as you might imagine all the way through all the barrels that you're probably going to replace more ammunition containers down in here these access doors which are then going to go all over your nose section so if i turn it around the right way there we go you can see very very nice indeed and we've got a couple of feed belts down in there so again, it'd be nice to display that open so you can see the workings of the gun and all that work that you've actually got in there. That's very nice. Okay, last up, engine cells. We've got the doors. Doors have got a lining to them, as you can see. Uh, so that looks very nice indeed. So again, we've got a situation where you've got the outer doors, which are all canned and everything else. Then we've got these, which are the inner doors. So again, gets rid of the ejector bin problem. Although, so that said, it's all stamped equipment, so you could probably use it. All right, so that's all in there like that. And then obviously we've got the firewalls, things like that, bulkheads, obviously where the tire goes up into the wheel well. Again, looking very nice. And the engine the cells, as we've just seen with everywhere else, has got canning all over it as well. It's all stressed skin, beautifully done. 
all the way through. Again, that is just absolutely exquisite. Last up, we've just got these, which you won't bother getting out. So these are actually the engine uh, intakes, or is it for the oil superchargers maybe? But it's a cover that's gonna go down the back over to the top of the engine, down the back of the wing. So again, we've got these, which is gonna be slit straight on the top. And there you have it. To be honest with you, when this one first got released and we saw some of the CAD work, I was blown away by it. First time I've ever seen the plastic, even though it's been out a while, and I'm still blown away by it. It's a great, great kit. Again, HK, it's really nice. They're still doing the 30 second stuff. So if you're into your big ones, especially this one, it's not a massive, it's a medium bomber, you know, so obviously with their B25, obviously now we've seen the habit, but what we've seen is a natural progression in some of the details that are going on. So some of their kits before, like the Lancaster and the B17 in 132nd, they're a little bit, it would be nice if it had a bit of like canning on their stress skin, because you know, that seems to be the way to go. Some more details into it. This kit delivers on all of that. So all the things that are missing off of the bigger ones is now here. So hopefully it so said this is a natural progression that uh, AK, uh, HK have literally looked at it and gone, do you know what? We could do this. And they've stepped up the bar. And again, what's really nice to see is companies who actually do step up. Too often, Tammy, I'm talking to you, stagnated. Last few years, I've never seen anything that I thought, wow, that's a game changer. They're really pushing it on now. They've played safe. HK clearly aren't. They're still striving and pushing ahead and really catching up all the competition. So for the first time ever, I think this would be a case of even if somebody else came out with one in one thirty second, I don't think it's going to be much better than this kit because this kit is well up there and a definite recommendation from me.